the problem with the Final Fantasy remake is that people want it to be Final Fantasy 7 but better graphics and that already exists it's called the Steam version and all the mods that have come out over the past couple of years now there are a lot of decisions they made with the remake that is like downright retarded I don't know why they would do it but hey it's their game and we have to play it so whatever let them do what they want we'll play it if it's garbage we'll tell them if not then it'll be great and either way it's still gonna be more Final Fantasy 7 so who doesn't want that like I said even if it's the worst game ever it's still more Final Fantasy 7 and we're still gonna be like check out Cloud and he looks really cool and check out Eris she looks really cool and that's it at first I was the same way at first you know they were like oh it's gonna be like this and I was thinking there's no way they can have everything that was in the original Final Fantasy 7 in this game like they're obviously gonna cut out a lot of the script and a lot of the stuff that happens because how could you remake the whole thing you know and have like the whole game so at first I was like wow it's just gonna be garbage because like it's not gonna be the same but we can still enjoy it for what it is. Now, my problem with it, my number one problem with it, is that they know people are going to buy it. And when they came out originally, you know, with the first trailer, they were like, oh, the long overdue promise is finally going to be fulfilled and we're going to make all our Final Fantasy fans happy. And everyone was like, great, that sounds amazing. And then they make all these stupid decisions that are like, well, we want other people to enjoy it too. And that's what, make, that's what makes you mad. If they came out and they said, hey, we want this game to be for everyone and we're going to make it Final Fantasy VII, then that would be fine. Or if they came out and they said, we're going to make all the Final Fantasy VII fans happy and remake Final Fantasy VII, that'd be fine too. But they're trying to do both and that's what makes me think it's going to be awful. Because they come out and they say, oh, we're going to make it, we're going to make all the Final Fantasy VII fans happy. And then they make it a battle RPG, which makes literally no sense at all. That's the dumbest, that is the dumbest decision I've ever heard of in my life for any video game. Like, the dumbest. I've never, never in my life. That'd be like, that'd be like if you made a new God of War game. And you were like, oh, God of War fans, we're going to make this new God of War, it's going to be amazing. And all the God of War fans were like, great. And then you made it a trading card game. Because trading card games are hot right now. So who, who are you trying to make happy? Trading card game fans or God of War fans? And that's my question to Square. What, who are you trying to make happy with this game? Final Fantasy fans? Or everyone else? Because obviously it's everyone else because you're making it a battle RPG. If you were trying to make Final Fantasy VII fans happy, you'd make it a turn-based RPG. Because that's obviously what Final Fantasy VII fans like. Like, it's so easy, like, I, there's, like, do they have a checklist of, like, stuff that Final Fantasy fans like anywhere in, in Square? So, like, is there any kind of, like, wall where it's, like, stuff Final Fantasy VII fans like? And then there's, like, a checklist, and it's, like, Final Fantasy VII, check. Turn-based RPGs, check. That would be, like, the first thing on that list. Because... I know Square, you know, hasn't probably seen their game in a while, but it is a turn-based RPG. It's just so stupid. It makes zero sense to me. Zero. No sense. If they were like, hey, we're going to make a Final Fantasy VII, a, a remade version of Final Fantasy VII that everyone can play, then I would completely understand why it's a, why it's a battle RPG, because Kingdom Hearts is popular. And a lot of people that didn't like Square and didn't like Disney still played uh, Kingdom Hearts because it's just a really fun game. But that's not what they said. They said, oh, we're going to make Final Fantasy VII fans happy. And then they do nothing that has anything to do with Final Fantasy VII. They make it a battle RPG. They make it three different episodes. And they're probably going to skip a bunch of stuff. They're not going to have the original script. They're probably not going to have the same voice actors from Advent Children.
It makes literally no sense at all. What this tells me is that they're trying to make money off of Final Fantasy VII, which honestly is fine. It's their thing. Like that, more you know. I don't blame them for trying to make money off of Final Fantasy VII. You have to come out and you have to say, we're making a Final Fantasy VII for the new era. You know, that's what you got to say. Then all of my anger goes away. Then it becomes, okay, we'll just enjoy it for what it is then. You know, we'll enjoy seeing our Final Fantasy VII characters in HD and whatever the game is. It might be good, it might be bad, but we'll still enjoy it for what it is. But you can't come out and say, we're going to make the Final Fantasy VII game that everyone's been waiting for. Because then the hype is so ridiculous that you have to do everything right. And it has to be, you know, to the same exact standards as the original game was. And you literally cannot do that when you change how the game is played, first of all. Do you think gamers don't want to sit long enough to dig through battle strategy in a turn-based paradigm anymore? No! And that's the stupidest... That's the stupidest idea that anyone's ever gotten. It's so stupid. Square Square comes out and says, Oh, well, turn-based RPGs are out of date. So, you know, we can't... Uh, we, we, we're not going to make a turn-based RPG because they're out of date and people don't want to play them anymore. Meanwhile, there's over a million people watching people speedrun Final Fantasy VII at last year's AGGQ. There's a bunch of indie games that are turn-based RPGs that people jump on and then there's people like me who get half a million views on a tutorial video for Final Fantasy 7 like where do you think those half a million views came from like the people that are just watching my video that don't actually play Final Fantasy 7 like no those are people that play Final that are going back to play Final Fantasy 7 because it's a turn-based RPG and there's none of those around right now like, it's the exact opposite. It's not that people don't want to play turn-based RPGs. It's that there's no turn RPGs, turn-based RPGs to play. There's, there's Call of Duty, and there's Destiny, and there's Overwatch, and there's League of Legends. There's no good turn-based RPG, like big-time turn-based RPG. So no one's... They're all playing the old ones. And they're in my... I'm sitting here, you know getting 500,000 views on my videos because there's nothing else for people to play and so they're going back to Final Fantasy 7 and they're like oh I don't remember how to play this YouTube tell me how to play it and they come up upon my video so the fact that they say that people don't want to play turn-based RPGs is absolutely retarded first of all and second of all they are like the grandfather of turn-based RPGs so for them to come out and say grand that they're out of date is literally just like stabbing themselves in the heart well they should have said they should have come out and said, you know what, no one's making turn-based RPGs and they're still amazing, so we're going to make an amazing one. And everyone would have just jumped on, like everyone would have literally just like gotten on their Square Enix horse and just rode into the sunset. Everyone would have like way jumped on the bandwagon, would have, I mean they could have started like a, they could have started a Kickstarter and been like, you know, there's no good turn-based RPGs anymore, so we're going to kickstart. Final Fantasy VII Remade as a turn-based RPG. Do you have any idea the millions of dollars they would have made, like, overnight? <laughs> if they would have said that? But no, instead they're like, Oh, well, we're going to make a Final Fantasy VII Remake, but turn-based RPGs suck. That was, like, the dumbest decision they could have ever made. All they had to do... All they had to do was put on a cloak and be like, We are the grandfathers of turn-based RPGs. Boom, Final Fantasy VII Remade. And that could have been their whole E3 conference. And everyone would have gone ballistic. But instead they're idiots and they're like, oh, we're going to make it. But by the way, turn-based RPG suck. That'd be like, that'd be like if, if uh, Infinity Ward came out or Treyarch came out and they were like, they were like you know, we're going to make, uh, we're going to make this new uh, zombies game. We're going to take all the zombies maps from all the other zombies game, all the other Call of Duty games, and we're gonna make this big old giant zombies game that has nothing but zombies, more and more zombies, more maps, more types of zombies, more guns. It's gonna be awesome. By the way, first person shooters, they suck. And then they just like walked off. And you're like, what? Why, what? Why would you do this? No sense. And they're like, oh, by the way, it's gonna be a, um, it's gonna be a, a platformer. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're gonna make it apply. We're gonna bring all the zombie stuff back. We're gonna bring back all the Easter eggs, all the old zombies games, everything else. But uh, we think that first-person shooters suck, so we're gonna make it a uh, a mobile game where you have to uh, level up and uh, wait hours for uh, to shoot each zombie because that's that's what everyone's playing right now is mobile-based games. So screw first-person shooters. That that is the equivalent of what Square Enix did. That's exactly what they did. They were like. They were like, "Oh, there's this first, there's this, there's this turn-based RPGs that you all know and love. We're uh, we're gonna make that again, but not make it a turn-based RPG because we think they're out of date. It's so stupid. And again, to clarify, I'm not saying it should be turn-based. Okay. If they if they came out and they said we want to make an action-oriented Final Fantasy VII, that's what we want to do." We think that it will bring together the old Final Fantasy fans and the new ones that never got a chance to play Final Fantasy VII to be able to see the story. And we're going to make it an action-based RPG, just like Kingdom Hearts. And we're going to try to keep as true to the original as we can. That would have been fine. Like, ever, no one would have been mad at them, you know? The reason everyone's mad is because they come out and they say, we're going to make Final Fantasy VII Remade with that big old trailer. And then they said nothing, making us all think... It was the one that we all wanted from you know for eight years, and then they come out and say, "Oh well, we're gonna make we don't we don't think the old Final Fantasy VII is uh, is current enough." That just makes no sense. I don't understand. I'm I'm so mad because like how do you how do you make a game? How do you make a remade version of a game and then say that the first game? is out of date. I don't understand. I... I don't... Why? Like, I don't care what they do. I don't care if they go back on their word and they make it turn-based or whatever. Like, I don't care what happens in the future. I'm talking about the fact that they announced it and said that turn-based games are out of date when they're remaking a turn-based game. How is it out of date? I don't understand. How do you how do you say it's out of date? You you came out and you're like, we're gonna make Final Fantasy VII remake. Why are we gonna make Final Fantasy VII remake? Because millions of people want to see it. That should have been enough. That should have been enough for them to think, oh, they probably want it turn based. Because why would we all want it if we didn't? If we hated Final Fantasy VII, we wouldn't want the remake. We love Final Fantasy VII. The love of Final Fantasy VII equals desire a remake so what comes with the love of Final Fantasy 7 the love of turn-based RPGs that these things go together you can't like it's just I I don't understand it's so dumb I, like I said it's like making a new Call of Duty game that, that you know like because uh, the new the um Infinite Warfare is going to have a remade version of Call of Duty 4 in it. So it would be the same as if they came out and they said, we're going to remake Call of Duty 4 because everyone loves Call of Duty 4, but we're going to make it a card, a card turn-based turn card battle simulator. Why? Because people, why do people love Call of Duty 4? Because they like first-person shooters. So why would you not make it a first-person shooter? Why would it not be the same thing? It doesn't make any sense. I... It'd be like if your boss told you he likes the color red, so you were like, I like the fact that you like the color red, we're going to paint the whole office blue. It, it's that dumb. It doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid. Who cares about the materia system? No one, no one could possibly care about the materia system if it's not turn-based. It doesn't matter. Like... Everything about the game doesn't matter because it's going to be different. So the whole, the only thing that matters is if it's fun or not. Because the only thing we're going to get out of it is the story and the characters and enjoying it for what it was. But everything else is going to be different. So like the material system, no matter how great they make it, it's not the original material system. So it doesn't need to be the material system. It could be the the fine dicks on the ground. They have power system. It doesn't matter because it's not the same material system. They might as well not call it the material system. They might as well call it something else because. 
it's not the same thing, which again, I'm fine with. Like, that's not why I'm mad. I'm, I, I hope that it's the best action RPG ever and that it's super fun and it's just like Kingdom Hearts. I don't care. That's great. It's just the fact that they say that turn-based are out of date when they are literally the turn-based company. You know, it doesn't make it, it'd be like, like I said, it'd be like if Infinity Ward was like, man, first person shooters, don't they suck? And then they just like make the new Infinity, you know. I need a rant series. Maybe one day. I could do a rant video. This is what I'll do. I'll just talk, I'll buy, I'll buy the remake. And then I'll just, I'll just yell at it. I won't even play it. I'll just hold it. And I'll yell at it. And then I'll put it in my toaster. And I'll toast it. And that'll be the whole video. I think in the history the history of companies I'm talking I'm talking uh, like Infinity Ward Treyarch all the big companies I think Square is literally the worst at giving their fans what they want the worst like I think I think Square takes every letter they get from fans and they just wipe their butt with it and throw it down the toilet like they, they don't care. They, they have zero cares. They don't... You think they made this Final Fantasy VII remake because they wanted to make Final Fantasy VII fans happy? You're the dumbest... You're, you're, you're literally just completely missing everything that Square is doing. If you think that that's why they did it. Because it, it's not. It's not why they did it. They did it to make money. If you, think I'm ju if you think I'm wrong, then buy the game and tell me they made that game to make Final Fantasy VII fans happy. You're out of your mind if you think... If you pick up that game, and the game starts up, and you're running around as Cloud swinging at things, and you think they made that game to make Final Fantasy VII fans happy, you're out of your mind. You're completely out of your mind. Because all, because all they had to do, if they want to make Final Fantasy VII fans happy, all they had to do was take the Steam version of Final Fantasy VII and add, add some more graphical enhancements to it. Make it like the mods that I have, and fix up some of the bugs, and sell it, and I guarantee everyone and their brother would buy it and love it and enjoy Square and Axe for it. But no, that's not why they did it. They did it to make money. Why would they make it? Tell, tell me. I want everyone, anyone here that thinks that Square is trying to make us happy, tell me why they made it an action RPG. Just just tell me why. Just type it, go blah, blah, blah. This is why they did it. Just tell me why they did it. If it's any reason... Other than to make money, you're out of your mind. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Square needs to make money. Like, okay, you're a company. You need to make money. But out of every company I've ever seen, they do the least amount. Like, okay, all right. You want you want more proof that, okay. So, Final Fantasy X comes out. And Final Fantasy XI. And then Final Fantasy XII. And then Final Fantasy XIII. And then Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIII comes out. Everyone hates it. Except me, I liked it. Everyone else hates Final Fantasy XIII. I think it's the worst game ever, okay? Because it's linear and stuff. So then they're like, okay, Final Fantasy XIV looks really good, and they come out with a trailer for fourteen, and everyone goes, okay, thirteen was crap, okay? We hated thirteen, but fourteen looks great. So we can't wait for fourteen. Let's all jump on the fourteen hype train. What does Square do? They make Final Fantasy XIII two and a spin-off. Lightning Returns, which no one gives two rats asses about, which apparently was pretty good, but no one cares because everyone's waiting for 14. And then everyone's like, okay. Then they announce the remake. So like, okay, we're making the Final Fantasy VII remake. So it's like, great. Now you got the Final Fantasy VII remake on the, on the ropes. You got 14 coming out and 15 is already being made for some reason. Who knows? But whatever, you got all these great games. Oh, and what do they 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 announce Kingdom Hearts three, and everyone's like, oh my god, it's Kingdom Hearts three! I can't believe it. So they're making Final Fantasy remake, Kingdom Hearts three, Final Fantasy fourteen, Final Fantasy fifteen. Everyone's super excited. What are they release next? Near two. What? Who wants near two? No one's asking about near two. No one cares. Nobody cares about near. And then they release 
like Final Fantasy X, II, and all these other bullshit games. Meanwhile, everyone's like, where's Kingdom Hearts 3? Where's Final Fantasy? Where's all of the other games that you've been promising? They're like, no. Nah, we got this, man. Lightning Returns. Everyone's going to love that. Let's try to milk that Final Fantasy 13 thing while it's still... Because they could have made Final Fantasy 14 and 15, but if they made 15 before they made Lightning Returns, nobody would have bought Lightning Returns because 15 was out. So they had to go, oh, wait, let's stop making Final Fantasy 15. We got to finish Lightning Returns because we got to milk that cow before we release 15 because no one's going to buy it. So then they do that. And then they announce the Final Fantasy VII remake to keep everyone interested because 15 is taking too long. And then they keep throwing like little, by the way, Kingdom Hearts 3, by the way, here's a little trailer that means nothing and has no release date. No. If you think, if you think Square does anything to make fans happy, you're so wrong. You're so wrong. And I'm sorry, and I, I hate to call people wrong on my stream because everyone has a right to their own opinion. But, Lord, they are the worst. They are the absolute worst. They, they have no care whatsoever for their fan base. They make whatever is going to make money. And they, they they just do stuff that they think is going to, you know... And it's not like they don't want to make us happy. Because if they make us happy, they get money. But they they don't they don't do any... They, have, they must have so much money that they could make... A Final Fantasy remake that was battle R RPG and a Final Fantasy VII remake that was turn-based, but they wouldn't make as much money if they did that, because then they would be split. And people, some people buy one, and some people buy the other one. They want everyone to buy this one. So if they made it turn-based, it'd only be their old fans buying it. If they make it action RPG, their old fans are still going to buy it, even if they hate it. But then all of the twelve-year-olds are going to be like, "Oh, action RPG! Let's do it!" <laughs> So, that makes the most money. That's what they do. Even after before, before they were like, oh, we're going to give the Final Fantasy VII fans what they want. The promise is going to be fulfilled. Yeah, right. That was just hype. This is good as hyped. That was to get, that was to get, that was their plan all along. They're gonna, they come out with this trailer that says, the promise, the promise is going to be fulfilled. That way, all of us, all the Final Fantasy VII fans jumped on the train okay then the train left the station and we could no longer get off the train now we're stuck now we gotta buy it no matter what because we're excited okay they could come out and be like by the way hello kitty is the main character we'd be like shit we still gotta buy it we're still on the train we're still gonna buy it it might be awful and we might trade it back the next day but we we gotta buy this game right then once we're on the train and it leaves the station and we can't leave then they're like oh by the way, all you 12-year-olds out there that like Kingdom Hearts think it's the best game ever, turn-based RPGs, they're out of date. Screw those. We're making this an action RPG. It's going to be great. That way, all the little kids get on the board train, and boom, and now we're all on the train, and we're headed towards a nuclear explosion of when it releases. <laughs> uh, you're right. I'm going to go... I'm going to go to dinner with my grandma and I'm just gonna be sitting there like eating she's be like how was your day I'm like it's terrible it was awful I hate Final Fantasy she's gonna just run out and just start knocking over tables she would be like what what I can't take my grandson to Bob Evans ever again and be kicked out of Bob Evans <sighs> and now I gotta play this game that's gonna frustrate me cause that's what this game does Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. No, no. You know, all that weight just for me to die. <laughs>